Welcome back everyone. This is chapter 13th. We are going to learn about General D. General D is the logging system in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Back in RHEL 6, we have our syslog service. For the logging system, we have a service which running as our syslog. We can configure the our syslog as a our syslog server also. All the client machines can push the logs in logs to the RSS log server in rel 6 the same thing we can configure here also but there is a option of advanced option of logging system is general D in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 which use the database system so all the logged events are stored in a database and whenever we want to retrieve the those logs the database will be or uh, read by the general D service and we will get a, a full detailed information about those um, events, system events. Actually the general D will not will not be persistent. Once we reboot the server, all the log in, logging information will be destroyed. So if we want to make it persistent we can integrate the general d and the orsys log server so we can see here we can see what are the options of general d and how can we use the general d command okay it's very user and very easy to understand uh, we will get more information about uh, each and every events from the general d output let me use the command general ctl it will show all the available logging informations first line was showing something 6mb and the system c group and the linux uh, kernel informations we can use a minus o verbose option to get more detailed information about the each and every line in the next option we are going to use it let me clear the screen the general CTL will include all the logs, D message, uh, uh, secure log, and uh, message log, everything will be included in the general CTL. Now I am going to use the command minus O verbose. This will give a very large and explained verbose about a each and single line. We have seen something uh, 6MB in the first line of the log while we run the command general CTL. Same thing, it's giving you a uh, brief uh, information about the each line. What's the PID, GID, e, what's the command, and uh, what's the uh, machine name, uh, machine ID, and the host name, which system unit was used. Every information for each and every line. The dark, black, dark letters, the bold letters or highlighted is each and every line while we have run the command general CTL. Here we can use the, we can see the kernel log line also. Uh, see the, this is the kernel log file. It's also in, in, in the general CTL command, we've seen only one line, but it's giving more information in the verbose output. So it's quite very easy to understand the general CTL output while we are using the verbose output or minus O option. Let me see next uh, how to use the uh, how to list the uh, logs general city log in the live environment uh, minus f the same thing we used to uh, use in the tail minus f so here if I use the minus f it will show the uh, what are the events are happening in this machine it will be shown continuously so minus f we can use for this purpose if I if I want to list certain lines or lost certain lines I'm going to list 20 lines for the general CTL minus n 20 will list only the lost 20 lines of the logs from the general CTL so that we will we came to know what are the logs the all uh, lost 20 lines the same thing if I list using minus F, it will show the, the same lines, but minus F will be following. It will follow. Minus F is equal to follow. 
but minus n 20 is equal to last 20 line of the general CTL. The general CTL will, will be include all the logs, not only specific log. Okay. And the next option we can see a general CTL. That we use minus p for finding the errors general p error e -R -R. it will show what are the failure logs if some user is trying to or uh, ssh into the server and he got failed it will be logged here so if you want to get the fail or errors you can use the option minus p error e -R -R, okay by next we are going to see general CTL deem message. If I want to check only the kernel related logs, the general CTL, the general D option will only list the journal uh, kernel uh, logs. For that, I want to use journal CTL hyphen hyphen D message or minus K. The same thing minus hyphen hyphen d message list can be listed using minus k option k is equal to kernel the minus k will only list the kernel related logs by next we can see uh, general ctl uh, here we can see the size of the general d database was uh, 6mp okay so there is a command to check the without uh, without uh, uh, reading the full general CTL. We can see the how much database was used by the general CTL. General D is this hyphen hyphen this hyphen usage. It will show the database size which used by the general D. So in production environment, it will be very huge in size. This is a test environment just for a demonstration purpose. So it's very small in size. For listing the logs from yesterday onwards, onwards till today, hyphen hyphen since yesterday, hyphen hyphen until today. From yesterday to today, it will uh, list all the logs. Unfortunately, it's not listing, so I'm going to you list using a timestamp. The timestamp want to be a year, month, and the date, and the hour, and the minute, and the seconds. Here you go. General city hyphen hyphen scenes and the timestamp and the anti and the timestamp within the code. So it will give the logs uh, within the time window. I have reported the servers yesterday, so it's not showing from the yesterday onwards. But using the timestamp, we can see all the general D logs. And to know all the available commands on the uh, sorry, the options in the general D, general CTL. You, we can use the man general CTL uh, man page manual so that we can uh, see what are the available options here minus f hyphen f is equal to follow uh, n minus n the number of lines we want to list from the general CTL and uh, since and uh, you uh, until the date in between the range. Uh, and that disk usage these are the uh, options which we have seen in this tutorial but there are a lot of available options in this man page so you can go through one by one to practice uh, before you are getting confident that you are good in general CTL we can uh, read a uh, system uh, system unit also uh, let me clear uh, we can list general CTL uh, underscore system D unit is equal to Avaki daemon service. So the Avaki daemon service is not doing any logging information. We can replace it with any other services and we can see those logs also. So it's a detailed uh, logging system which uh, in the uh, data enterprise Linux 7 for knowing all the short. Uh, it's very easy to read this help a, uh, man page general CTL hyphen hyphen help will list all the available options in the general CTL just you run the command general CTL hyphen hyphen help and 
we will get the infinite options and the what the use of that so let me see uh, in next tutorial how to integrate the uh, general city land horses log please subscribe to our channel by clicking the above link thanks for watching